Is Calgary Canada's real estate bright spot? Welcome to December real estate market update. I'm Euros Markovic, Calgary Realtor, and let's start with this. November real estate data shows continued strength security that has been nearly completely distanced from national housing crash concerns. Well, be sure you find articles like this, special report, five top towns for real estate investors or Alberta housing prices are predicted to rise in 2023 as more people move to the province. These areas are about to get pricier. Or headline just like this, beginning of the end for Canada's housing market downturn, Calgary the exception to the rules. So the secret is out. The national news has finally caught up with the times and people are taking notice. It is all broken down to this. In the middle of the continued market shift across North America, Calgary has proven to be one of the places that could avoid it all. Not only that, but it's also more likely we will see an increase in prices in 2023 versus any chances of downward slide. So what we know is this. Interest rates are at the new highs and here to stay. And stay for a while. So it may come down a little bit at the back half of 2023, but more or less this is what we are going to see for a foreseeable future. And Canadians are now getting accustomed to it. Real estate deals happen because life continues to happen, despite of the changes in global economy, rate changes and stock market swings. Babies continue to be born, kids graduate high schools and colleges, marriages happen, deaths happen, divorce happen, investments happen, retirement happens and so on. So real estate will no doubt continue to be traded just as often as it has ever been and more people are choosing to live in Greater Calgary area than ever before. And this trend won't be slowing down anytime soon. So couple of this with the latest news. The lowest inventory level we have ever had since 2005. But here is the kicker. Our greater population was only 1 million back then in 2005, but now is 1.6. So this means that we have added 50% to our population and our inventory levels right now are equal to the market when we had 600,000 fewer people in the city. So inventory story isn't just that we are low, it is that we are incredibly low, especially factoring in our population growth and corresponding needs. Sales are down from the last year, sure. The data shows 20% from last November, but sales are still flying at high 12% over our 10 year average. But there is another story brewing. While our sales have pulled back due to rapidly rising interest rates, net migration and overall immigration is ballooning to all time highs in our city. So in this situation, what do you think tends to happen? We have a huge number of people stepping into the rental pool and driving rents up to the new highs. And we are already seeing that right now. But as those people take a moment to assess and get accustomed to new city they just moved to, they are in essence preparing to make a home ownership decisions. As people get settled, as rates begin to flatline or slightly decrease in the coming years, that will result in a sky-high demand in our market driving another spike in housing prices. And finally, our benchmark sales price here has nearly held on to 2022 peak. So yes, despite all these crazy changes, the only market that has seen a little bit of price decline is our detached market, down to about 4% from March and April highs. All other property types have either seen a pure flat line or slight increase in their values. If you're a homeowner listening to this, you can feel confident that your equity hasn't eroded much at all and your real estate has been the best asset to hold while the whole world shakes for a little bit. I believe that right now this is our bar. December numbers are very light and they have always been like that, which means that we don't see a lot of sales and we will see another massive reduction in inventory, which to the levels that we are probably have never seen before. This despite being the slowest part of the year will keep prices flat, not declining. And then we open back up from January onwards, Greater Calgary will see a rise in its pent up demand, buyers will come off the fence and they will start planning their life and moving forward with their life plans for the rest of 2023. We will see a driving pretty significant year over year price increases once again. So what does this really mean? Right here in December will be the best prices you will ever see again in Calgary housing market. So if you can grab a deal, go for it. Do it with a confidence. 
Some builders have got a little bit anxious as sales have slowed down because their true cost is now on the table, like staffing, payroll, landing cost, debt, or nearly completed projects and so on. So they might be a little bit more flexible to keep their machine rolling and get you a little bit better deal. But I predict this will go away very quickly past the Christmas holidays and the market is fully awakened in a new year. So that is really it for this month. I felt there is no really point hitting you with all of the data from the past month's result. The picture I painted for you is the most important thing for you as you are looking to make your real estate plans and decisions. As always, this is an overall summary, not an advice to be taken for each market, each price point and property style. Be sure to not connect with me to build your strategy. Well, I wish you happy holidays and I hope you have a great month of December and I'll see you in a new year.